to Chad Strand's real estate website. If you're buying or selling, he can help. His website is designed to guide you through the process. Call Chad today for a free no obligation appointment. 612-849-4600. So today's video is a makeup tutorial on this look. I actually wore this look the other day. I'm wearing the ColourPop Matte X Lippy Stick in Chateau. I mentioned this lip color in a recent like favorite fall lipstick video. And I wore it out the other day. I was wearing a look extremely similar to this. And I loved it so much I wanted to film it. But I thought I would recreate it with more affordable products. So everything in this video is pretty affordable. I love this look. I love really, really deep matte lipstick and as you know this color is one of my favorites and I thought these eyes just complemented the lip so well usually with a bold lip like this I will go like pretty bare on the eyes but for fall and winter I think it's really pretty so yeah I love this look so much and it's so easy to recreate as all my looks are but yeah I do want to mention I'm using kind of random eyeshadows in this video they're all affordable but they are from different palettes I'm using like three different palettes in this video but yeah just use similar products you have at home and if you want to see how to get this vampy look just keep on watching. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by priming my lids with the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer, and I'm gonna blend that in, and then I'm gonna set that with the NYX HD Finishing Powder. Feel free to use an eye primer. I find that concealer works well with my dry eyelids. So I'm gonna jump into the Sonia Kashuk Eye on Neutral Matte Palette, and I'm gonna take that little shade I pointed at, and I'm just gonna blend some of this color into the crease so that the other shades blend nicer on the eyelid. And then I jumped into this, I know it's so random, but I took this Milani palette, this is the Bare Necessities Everyday Eyes eyeshadow palette, and I take that dark brown chocolate shade, and I'm gonna run that really, really close to my lashes, kind of creating a thick liner with a powder eyeshadow. And then I took the Milani Supreme Cool Kajal Eyeliner in the shade Blackest Black, and I'm gonna tight line with this, but then I'm gonna smudge a little bit really, really close to my lashes, kind of on top of the brown eyeshadow. And then with that same brush, I'm just gonna buff in this black eyeliner. Gonna kinda create a smoky effect. It's going to kind of resemble that messy look, but it looks put together in the end. Then I'm gonna take that other eyeshadow I pointed at, and with a more fluffy brush, I'm just gonna buff over everything I just did. I don't want any harsh lines. I wanna make sure everything looks nice and blended. So I went back in with the eyeliner. I do this a few times just to get the intense smokiness. So I put on some eyeliner on my lid and then blended it out some more with that brush. I'm winging it out because I'm gonna clean that up later with a makeup remover wipe. So jumping into a new eyeshadow palette, this is the Morphe 12S. It's one of their smaller palettes. I'm gonna take that deep cranberry shade and I'm gonna buff it right on top and then I'm gonna mix those two colors I pointed at and then do the exact same thing. I'm just layering these warm shimmery eyeshadows because I think they look really pretty on top of each other. So I'm just buffing that in um, right on top of that eyeliner, just making it nice and smoky. Then I'm going back into this eyeshadow and blending over everything one more time. And look at that, I busted out the eyeliner again. Doing the exact same thing, I'm applying this really close to my lashes, but I'm dragging it out a bit because I want the outer corners to be a little bit more black. And I am just, you know, buffing that in once again. Only I'm not putting as much pressure on the brush this time because I don't want the black eyeliner to blend away completely. I do want it to look nice and black towards the lash line. Then I took a wipe to clean up the edges and make it more of a cat eye look. And then my camera stopped recording before I realized it, but I added some more black eyeliner to the base. As you can see, it's a little bit darker. I don't know why, but my new camera shuts off sometimes. Anywho, I took those two eyeshadows and I'm using that to highlight underneath my brow bone. And then to move on to the face, I'm taking the NYX Angel Veil Primer and the NYX Born to Glow Illuminating Primer. I'm mixing those two and I'm applying them to my face. And then I went in with the LA Girl Pro Coverage HD Longwear Illuminating Foundation. I am in the shade Fair and I love this foundation so, so much. So much. I have been using it non-stop. I have been using it daily. It's crazy. I love it, love it, love it. It has such a beautiful finish. I don't know. I just, I really like it. So I have been using it a ton. 
For concealer, I took the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer. I am in the shade Very Fair Slash Light, but I didn't think it was light enough, so on top of it, I took the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer just to brighten up the look a little bit more. And I blended that in with my Real Techniques sponge. To set my concealer, I used the NYX HD Finishing Powder and I used that to set my under eyes and then I made the mistake by using this to set my entire face. I don't know why I did that. I had never tried it as a setting powder before and I did and I do not recommend it because my bronzer just looked really, really weird on top of this powder. Don't know how to explain it but it did not set my foundation nicely. Just a little tip, at least not on my dry skin. So to finish up the eyes, I'm taking that same Milani Coco Gel Eyeliner and I'm running this on my waterline, but then I'm dragging it a little bit under as well just to make it nice and smoky. And I'm buffing that out with a pencil brush. Then I realized I wasn't zoomed in. Okay, so I'm taking that color in the Sonia Kashuk palette and I'm really buffing out that black eyeliner I just smudged just to avoid some harsh lines. I want it nice and smoky and blended. And then I applied some of that really pretty warm eyeshadow on top from the Morphe palette just to tie everything together. For my inner corner highlight, I took the, um, what is this? The Physician's Formula Natural Nude Highlighting thing. It's like a little shimmer box. And I used that to highlight my inner corners. And then I applied some Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. I applied like a ton of this mascara on my top and bottom lashes and then I am done with the eyes, very easy. Now I'm just really bronzing up the skin. I am using the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and warming up that face and also applying some to my neck, you know, just to make everything match. For blush, I decided to go with something really natural since the lips are gonna be so dark. So I took the H&M Powder Blush in the shade Brown Sugar. It goes with everything, I really love this blush. Pop that on my cheeks and then I took the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter and I am highlighting my face with this, but I'm kind of putting this everywhere. I put this on my nose, on my cheeks, on my forehead, by my eyebrows, on my lip. I put this everywhere since it's a very natural highlight. I wanted my entire face to glow, but then I took the Physicians Formula Natural Nude Little Shimmer Strip and I applied that to the very tops of my cheekbones because it's a very intense highlight and I wanted something a little bit more intense on top of the natural highlight. Okay. To finish off this look, I am going in with my lip color, and this is the ColourPop Lippy Stick in Chateau. And that completes this look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. We get tired. Mom. Plus, we got the whole thing. <laughs> Talking about working Saturday on the 75th anniversary issue. Thanks for asking. Yeah. You better mind have some decent stuff planned. Oh, I heard you already. My God, find a pirate to sit on, okay? However, not talking to you has turned out to be impossible.